Hello, Paul Pounds. So there's things that go together incredibly well that might even suggest that they're by design rather than some fortunate accident. Fish and Chips, Batman and Robin, Saint and Greavesy, and Les Edwards and Horror. Although that's not fair to Les Edwards because if you've done any kind of geeky growing up over the past few decades, it's pretty much nailed on that Les Edwards' as art is going to have influenced you in some way. And I use the term geeky in an affectionate way. I'm still a geek. I played Dungeons and Dragons in high school and I still meet up with the guys online once a week, a group of rogues and ne'er-do-wells, to battle all sorts of crazy things using dice and pencils and imagination. So, Les Edwards left uh, the Haunted College of Art in 1972 and pretty much straight away after that was recruited by the Young Artist Agency and became a freelance illustrator. And it's been an illustrious career. Um, he's a multi-award winning, multi-award nominee. He's regularly uh, honoured at horror, uh, sci-fi, fantasy conventions. If you've read a horror book in the past few decades, it's pretty much guaranteed that you are gonna you're gonna have seen a Les Edwards cover. Actually, if you've been in a bookshop in the past few decades, it's nailed on that you're gonna have seen a, a Les Edwards cover. In fact, if you've been in a record shop in the past few decades, it's pretty much nailed on you're going to have seen a Les Edwards cover. In fact, if you've been in a tabletop game shop over the past few decades, it's nailed on you're going to have seen a Les Edwards... You can see where this is going. In fact, if you've been in a cinema over the past few decades, you're going to have seen some Les Edwards art... In fact, whatever you're into, Les Edwards has been there. Gently catching your eye and working hard to convince you with one single amazing image that this is the product you want, this is the book you want, this is the game you want, this is the magazine you want, this is the LP that you want to buy. Doing his thing. And... As an artist, that's what they have to do. And I can't think of... I want to say many people, but I'm going to say any artist that's done it quite as deftly as Les Edwards. Now, I would normally have a succession of book covers that I'm showing you at this stage but I've tried to find the uh, the illustrations without the book title because a lot were reused uh, for completely different books but each one perfectly fitted whatever it was being used for so hopefully you'll be looking at uh, a parade of gorgeous and stunning book cover art, but maybe without the title and author. You can guarantee that Les Edwards' work is... It's a stunning and beautiful, detailed realism that's... Uh, both pleasing to the eye and disturbing to the mind a lot of the time. Um, but he demonstrates not just a technical artistic talent. A lot of his work holds 
uh, a sense of dread or a sense of excitement or a sense of revulsion and even and most importantly I think a lot of the time a very very dark sense of humour that for a horror book lets you in on on the joke that's contained within the text that maybe isn't even funny but as being party to that as readers it aligns us with whatever horrible protagonist the story contains so Les Edwards as an artist did a lot of portrait style work like I said as oil on board and oddly enough as Edward Miller he uses acrylic on canvas more um, to conjure up beautiful landscapes whole vistas there's a lot of there's a lot of artists I aspire to there's a lot of comic book artists I look at and try and emulate and uh, figure out their techniques for my own art. But Les Edwards is up there, almost god tier, partly because of the sheer volume of work that he has put out and partly because every single one of those pieces is perfect and beautiful and captures the stillness of mystery or the brutality of an axe fight. Growing up in the 80s, I obviously, as a as a younger reader, I wasn't really aware of Les Edwards, but his work was always there, gracing the covers of fighting fantasy books that I bought with my pocket money, and older forgotten paperbacks from the seventies that I found in second hand bookshops, right through to Guy N. Smith schlocky horror loveliness that was on book spinners in the post office and corner shop as I was a teen buying those. Constantly, that that work has been with me as pretty much a lifelong thing and continues to do so as I buy new books from uh, modern publishers, smaller press modern publishers, there's Les Edwards' work on the cover. If I buy books that are slightly, you know, higher tier publishers, there's Les Edwards' work on the cover. And it's always perfect. I'm going to use that word. There's a lot of book covers I love that I look at and think, that's great. That bit's a bit. I'm not sure about that bit. I'm not sure that bit works. I cannot. Honestly, I cannot pick fault with the work of Les Edwards or Les Edwards as Edward Miller. So if you're interested, I implore you to head over to lesedwards.com. His website is presented in a cheerful and approachable way and it is full of work that you either don't recognise but recognise what it is, the subject matter, or you recognise from things that you've loved from the past 40 years. I liken it to when I went to Legoland with my son in Windsor years and years and years ago. We wandered round, and although we were at Legoland, we looked at everything and went, oh my God, it's made of Lego. It's all made of Lego. It's made of Lego. If you go to lesedwards.com, 
and browse his stunning and beautiful galleries, you will sit there going, oh, that was Les Edwards. Oh, that one's Les Edwards. Oh my God, I love that book. That's Les Edwards. Treat yourself and treat the nostalgic nodes in your brain. There's so many more illustrations I wanted to put in this video. Um, and I could do a video that's hours long and just keep showing you the single most beautiful horror, fantasy and sci-fi illustrations. But you need to go and have a look for yourself. So I'm going to leave it there before my video becomes hours and hours long and I just show you an endless parade of beautiful and joyous horror book covers. Thank you for watching and thank you to Les Edwards for being uh, for just shaping my youth from books to records to magazines to everything it's funny when you start doing a video like this and you realize just what an impact one person has had so thank you for watching guys and i will see you all in the next video